hello friends so in last we added this add new user and edit and delete user in admin side in php inventory management system so now we are going to create the same thing but not we are going to add new user but we are going to add new unit like kilogram like grams like liter etc etc as per your need so first of all we need to create one table so i am going to create here new table we can see this is our database so here i am going to add new table with two field id we need to give primary key and here we need to give auto increment this auto increment and here unit that i am going to take where here 100 now save so you can see your table is created now we need to create one page add new unit so here in admin side right click new php page so we have this page add new unit dot php we need to bind in menu also so for menu i am going to open this header dot php yeah going to copy the same thing paste here here add new unit yeah add new unit dot php okay so now you can see we have this add new unit dot php but right now we don't have any design over here that's why but we have these things later on we change your icon also but right now it is not needed so in add new unit i am going to use the same code add new user so we have to change little bit so just copy paste and we are going to change step by step so we don't need to take code from any other places and we need to again changes so directly we can change here here add new unit here the same thing here we don't need any first name last name we need only unit name so here unit name here we have the stats words here we are going to change name so unit name and name without space only unit name that's fine now we don't need this last name username password role we don't need anything i'm going to just delete these things here the message is this username is already exist we are going to change here this unit already exist this is the submit button and then record inserted successfully we need these all things here we are going to display only id and unit name so i am going to delete these three things we are going to keep this edit and delete here we are going to write our table name units that we are going to check again yeah table names units and we have only two field id and unit so here i am going to take id and here i am going to take unit we don't need this three td i am going to delete this here we are going to change the page name edit unit and here delete unit right now we did not create this page but we will create it so no worry about it yeah that's fine so we change these things now here we have to change we are going to change this added unit is already exist or not so here units where unit is equal to dot underscore post our text box name and it is unit name yeah this is the same thing now here we need to pass our insert query units then values and here we are going to pass unit 
I change directly in this code because otherwise you need to write old code. But you already created this page add new user so why you need to write code again and again that's why I just copy and paste so you can easily do this so these things are done we are going to check here here I am going to write unit name I am going to refresh this page you can see but we are not getting here unit name why we are going to check here we get here value or not or oh, you can see we are not getting value here so it means the problem is in insert query so we are going to check yeah here we have to pass unit name and here we are going to write or die mysqli underscore error null link so when you are getting error next time you can see this I am going to delete this entry and here we are going to enter unit name again you can see we are getting here unit name and ID if you don't want to display ID then it's also fine if you don't want to display then from here you have to remove this from here and from here and if you want to display then also it is fine okay so we are getting these things now we need to perform this edit and delete operation before that we need this edit and delete in center so for that in td first write align center yeah align center is not worked then we are going to write center and slash center I am going to cut this slash center and I am going to paste here it means we are going to cover this AHREF between center tag yeah you can see we are getting edit like this now same thing so I am going to copy this paste here and here slash center now you can see this edit and delete looks the same because you cannot see that here link or not so for that purpose here I am going to write style I am going to write color green and here style and color red so you can see it looks little bit better if you want to use blue color then also you can use now we are going to perform this edit and delete operation delete is very easy but before that we are going to check I am going to write kg again then we should get here error message yeah you can see we are getting message this unit is already exists please try, try another so this is looks fine now I am going to add here one more unit it will refresh automatically and we are getting here later now we are going to perform this delete operation and then after we are going to perform edit operation so for delete operation you can see we already write here delete unit.php so I am going to create new page yeah we have this page now here we need to include connection file or connection file inside user Where is our connection file? Yeah, it is inside user. Where is this page is created? Let me check. Oh, it is created outside. So let me delete. Delete this page, delete unit we need to create this delete unit page inside admin yeah so you can see we got inside this admin folder okay that's fine now here we are going to include connection file 
yeah we are getting this now you can see we pass this id this id so we are going to get this id yeah we got this and now we are going to fire our delete query so mysqli underscore query and here dollar link delete from units where id is equal to dollar id and then after script type that star script here add new unit dot php yeah this is fine now we are going to check here also we are going to write or die so if you are getting any error then you can see it now i am going to delete this now you can see it is deleted so it is working proper now we are going to perform this edit operation so for edit operation you use page name edit unit.php so inside admin i am going to create new page yeah edit unit.php i am going to close these pages here i am going to use this edit user page code i am going to copy these all things here paste so i just copy and paste of edit user page here only we need to take unit we don't need these things so i'm going to delete this here units oh here unit so we are getting inside uh, getting values inside variable now here unit name here also unit name here unit name and here you have to pass our variable the name is unit yeah that's fine now we are going to delete these all things up to this status okay so update and that would update it successfully we are getting this message also now i am going to pass set unit is equal to unit name then we are going to delete this so the query looks like this but here also we need to add one more thing you can see here we are going to change unit like we can see we have right now two unit yeah it will update so no need to do that yeah sorry no problem because I am going to check uh, unit name should be unique but it is not going to enter here new unit it will just going to update this so we don't need to check here okay here we need to check our page name add new unit dot php yeah this is fine we are going to check our unit name yeah this is also fine yeah that's fine so now I am going to change oh, why we are not getting value here that we need to check we are getting their id here only unit yeah we are getting here now I am going to update this you can see here unit is updated so this way we can add edit and delete unit thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again